the video that you're about to see is uh, I was at work and uh, I thought about uh, oh, maybe it's a good idea to check out the uh, intake air temperature readings, you know, just to monitor it. I knew already that I was having some uh, like a heat soak or something because uh, there are times that I made it home that my uh, charge piping is hot, you know, hot to the touch. But from here, like I have showed you, well, you're going to see it. It's cold, warm, warm, hot, 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 getting hot. And yeah, you saw it on a previous vlog, which is, you're going to see it also, where I have this thing, uh, I was repairing some holes here, and I had this thing uh, on my uh, TIG welder cooling off, and I monitor or I notice something that the uh, hot air which is the cold air coming from the welder it comes out hot so that might help out my intake air temperature so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off and I am going to uh, do something about it which is put some cool tape insulating material here this is they said that it has a fiberglass on there and we already know this thing works but since uh on the video that you're gonna see you know that will be the data so hopefully i will make some a little bit you know bring it down a little if i can keep it within a hundred i'll be a happy camper and I also removed the rubber and uh, what will it will do is whenever this the, the bonnet is closed I would have a gap so at least the air hot air will goes out at least and we will find out as soon as I uh, wrap this thing I was thinking right after I put this I'll run it same time it's like uh, as soon as I get off from work and we'll see it from there if it makes a changes then I am going to <laughs> put one of these just for the hell of it see if it comes down you never know right you never know so that's the deal I wish I have a thermometer I'm cooling down the pipes it's warm cold here and yet the air that comes out here it's not as cold as uh, what's coming out from that uh, vent yeah so I was thinking if this thing really is getting hot inside the engine bay so whatever that heat exchanger puts out then by the time it passed through here it changes so it's a really a good idea to wrap this thing yeah, that was a good observation <laughs> right on so yeah I'm gonna uh, wrap this thing I want that uh, cold air going through there I'm on my way home and uh, this is the morning hours sun just got up and I think uh, 6.43 so what I'm doing now or what I'm uh, monitoring now is my I-80 which is right now it's uh, 62 uh, yesterday I was driving on my way to work and uh, it's hovering around 93 to about 100 and then when I was waiting at the stoplight or a stop sign the temperature goes up as far as like 106 I believe so I just need some data because I am doing something about the heat soaking as far as like the charge pipe I'm gonna start with the char uh, charge pipe I'm gonna wrap it with a heat shield or something a heat wrap or something then I'll start from there and then the second will be I'll make an intake for my turbocharger 
which is I wanted to inhale some fresh air. I'm not sure what the temperature early morning, maybe 62 degrees, maybe. Okay, so uh, let's go home and uh, I'm gonna see once I got on the freeway, let's see how it goes. about 7, 10 in the morning. Six one oh seven. So imagine sitting in the light for a few minutes, like a minute or two. Look at that. One oh nine. Hopefully, it won't go up to one twenty. Let's see if my fan is on. Yeah, fan just kicked in. Man. So, if I was sitting in the light at this time, I will be, uh, at this time I'll be mobile by now. So that should go down to about below 100. But let me show you. I know I've said the things that I'm gonna do but let me show you what I am going to do this one I'm gonna start wrapping this thing with a heat wrap over here it's cold warm 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 and it's getting hot 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 yeah Cool. Okay, that's good. So yeah, I'm gonna start doing some heat wrapping. I'm gonna bottle the heat soap. And this one, I'm gonna remove this to still get the air to exit out whenever that fan comes up, comes on. I think at least it will blow it out. Yeah, that I can do. Just to help out. Uh, Compartment. And this is what I'm telling you guys about the uh, air intakes. I'm gonna make a, a pipe that comes down and more like a scooper right here. Yeah. So it will be inhaling air right here. Something like that. Or something similar. See how well with the hood open and everything. One one sixteen. So this is just an observation for now, uh, monitoring, and now I got the data. And on the next vlog, then I'll keep an update 
and see if there's any difference all right so thanks guys i'll see you guys back all right bye bye of what my uh, tape would be is i'm just going to simply one wrap and transfer that here Okay, I'm gonna cut a lot of these. start on this uh, turn over here I probably need to uh, cut this thing in half anyway so that's the idea and hopefully this thing helps the turn it's proven to be a little bit pain in the uh, but I have to strip uh, a small material just to uh, make it on that angle. Huh. <laughs> that's the I'm almost uh, used up the 15 feet and that's only a foot so I think I'll be needing a uh, at least three rolls of this I could I probably could just do it like this but I don't want it I don't want it to wrinkle you know I'll do it this way. I don't care if, uh, if it takes me forever. Yeah. I don't want it to wrinkle, that's why. They got the uh, this part and as far as like the wrinkle well there's no way around it so 
but it's better than uh, <laughs> it's better than if I put the whole one and a half inch on there. Yeah, we'll see. Why aluminum, not gold? Uh, gold is kind of a, a little bit too fancy for me, so this is fine. This is the second roll. So I think the two rolls will uh, will cover this up, I believe. Yeah, the turns is a little bit of a challenge. You gotta cut it in a small pieces, strip like this. Yeah, other than that, work is good. There you go. Whew, finally done. That saved me 20 bucks right there. All right. So the next stop, I think it will be on the next vlog maybe. Uh, me driving around because I have to uh, bring the car at work. For now, there's two things that I, I made some improvement, which is I removed the rubber seal for the uh, the hood and also this one. And the third one upgrade would be is to uh, fabricate the air intake for the turbo. Yeah, and I think uh, once that thing is all done, then it's pretty much like uh, I am inhaling a cold air and feed into this system so hopefully this will help me out okay so I hope you guys like this one and uh, I'll see you guys back next time all right bye everyone have a good day or a good evening bye bye yeah cool